Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a Chevy or GMC vehicle guys and you get a code such as P0420 guys, stay with us and we'll explain what that code can, uh, can uh, tell you guys. Now that code actually uh, tells you guys that uh, uh, tells you that the catalytic converter is not doing its job. We're going to explain all that in a little bit. You might say for bank one or bank two, bank one uh, on four cylinder engines you have only one bank. On more most uh, V6 and V8 engines, guys, you have bank one and bank two because you will have two catalytic converters. So you may have uh, two of these codes guys, but uh, in today's video we're going to discuss what triggers that code and how you can fix it, okay, what you need to know about it. There is one way that you can illegally fix it, but this is only guys for, um, let's say, for a racing car, the car that is off the highway, because otherwise you can get a huge fine and even jail, I think. So. That's what we're going to share with you today, guys. Check your always, re always your regulations before you modify your car. Quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, we'll be making more than 200 views on every car we get. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you will find the information helpful. So this Chevy Cruze now, guys, okay, if it... Uh, uh, and when it throws a code 420, we'll explain what it does, but it's actually the same for every Chevy and GMC vehicle. You have your guys, uh, okay, exhaust manifold on your engine. On V6 or V8, you will have two of those, but on four cylinder, you have only one. And you have guys, uh, oxygen sensor. This is the upstream oxygen sensor. What that means, this is the oxygen sensor number one before the catalytic converter. This sensor tells the car, okay, if it needs to add more fuel or less fuel, more air, less air, so it can adjust the fuel-air ratio and uh, get the perfect mixture. Now, you have one more of those guys, sensors, right after your catalytic converter. On four cylinder car, just one of those, on six and eight, most likely you have two, two of those sensors. And let me show you guys, okay, now where that sensor is located. So that sensor guys usually is on the back side of your exhaust, okay, uh, past the catalytic converter and the sensor I'm referring to, okay, it's this sensor right there. Now if you drove your car uh, the last maybe two, three hours still, it could be very hot, so be careful. But that sensor now guys, okay, most likely you have a bad catalytic converter and that sensor is going to detect it and tell it, hey, you know, our catalytic converter, it's not doing its job. So we need to replace the catalytic converter. In some very rare cases, it could be a bad sensor not uh, giving the correct information. So I would recommend to put a new sensor first be because it's way cheaper than catalytic converter. And if that, that doesn't take care of the problem, guys, replace the catalytic converter. Now, let me show you what's a special tool that we use for removing and replacing uh, oxygen sensors because otherwise it's almost impossible to remove those things. So this is the tool right here guys. You, we, you can find the link in the description of the video below. This tool is simply amazing. So what we do, okay, it just goes on top of the oxygen sensor and you can go ahead and remove it. You can see how it's cut. Okay, I'm trying to focus here, but it's practically impossible for me. It's cut, so it goes through the wires pretty easy. Okay, and then just goes on top of the sensor. Now, if that doesn't take care of the problem, guys, as I said, replacing the sensor, go ahead and <coughs> replace your catalytic converter. And again, if that doesn't fix it, guys, Check your wiring harness to make sure that you don't have a burnt wire on the exhaust or something like that. Now for off highway use for racing trucks, they sell a special adapter that goes guys, okay, between the exhaust pipe and the oxygen sensor. It makes the oxygen sensor stick up more. That way it's not going to detect, okay, the gases and it's going to uh, detect like a working catalytic converter, but this is highly illegal, okay. Some countries don't have regulations, but you always have to check, guys, your own regulations and all that stuff. So, if you have any, uh, if you have that code, guys, that's how you fix it. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you doing that job. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.